guys, Lewis Frost with Phobos Solutions. Here filming with Trigger Time TV, gonna drop a tactical tip at Elite Firearms Training here in Lumberton, Mississippi. What we're gonna talk about is the validity of the shoulder bump technique or the cross shoulder shooting technique as we call it. At Phobos Solutions, we strongly encourage everyone to learn how to manipulate their guns either, with either hand and through the use of both shoulders. But we found the validity of this cross shoulder shooting technique to be somewhat easier for a lot of people to learn as there's less moving parts than the full shoulder transition. So what this is really beneficial for is when you're moving in and around piece positions of cover, as well as when you're trying to gain angles during CQB or home defense. With this technique, all you're doing is driving the gun from the dominant shoulder to the non-dominant shoulder without the need to switch hands on fire control. This allows you to reload the firearm utilizing your normal natural motion, as well as work the safety selector through the use of your natural normal motion. This is easier for most students to understand and learn early on. We don't discourage the full transition, but at certain times, this technique is a little bit superior. So what this technique looks like is, we'll drive the gun up utilizing our, non, our dominant shoulder. Then all we have to do is drive the gun straight out and straight over to our non-dominant side. As you can see, my non-dominant eye is picking up the optic. If that's a problem for you, all you have to do is cant the gun slightly in line with your dominant eye, and then you pick up the sight. So again, back over to the other side here. Now, what the difference is between this and the full transition, when I go full transition, I have to take my hand off of fire control, reach up, grab the gun, drive the gun all the way over. Now I'm here, now I have to reposition my hand. Now to go back, it's here, here, and here. Whereas the shoulder bump, as you can see, is much quicker. It's here to here, and now I'm already in, and I'm back and forth. So what this allows me to do is transition from positions of cover or gain angles easier. For more information on training and tactics like this, visit us at phobussolutions.com. To successfully repel a home invader, you need to have attitude, skills, and plan at the ready. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Pocatello, Idaho. It's a home invasion there that shows us how fast these things go down and we're gonna learn some lessons here about being prepared in the moment, about having the right tools and the right preparedness to protect yourselves and your loved ones. The audio is very important in this video, so let's listen in and we will come back and learn some lessons when it's over. The first lesson here is clearly to have a solid core door. This building was apparently a converted house that had been converted into multiple apartments and so they had an interior hollow core door, but you want better than that. Next lesson is this guy had had problems before with this guy and that's what had prompted him to get a firearm. Having the appropriate tools on you is incredibly important because it would have been too late had he wanted to get one here. Now you got to be ready in that moment to do what you need to do and this guy comes through and just puts his foot right through the door and he's about to do that right now and as he does we got to ask the question are you ready in that moment? The, the, Defender here did a great job of announcing himself, telling this bad guy to go away, telling him what he needed to do, and when it didn't work, he put the shots on target that he needed to do and ended the threat. A great job here all the way around that this guy did of protecting himself, his lady, and covering his ass. Hi everyone, I'm Nate Stokes with Advantage Group, and today I'm gonna to give you the gear locker from Trigger Time TV. The product we're gonna be talking about today is the Tango 6. It's the variable power one to six optic from the folks at SIG Optics. Really interesting piece of kit. I'm really excited about it. I've got the, uh, the Tango 6 here mounted on a uh, K2 
kinetic development group side lock mount on a primary weapon system carbine. And I think it's a great combination. Variable power optics, usually in the one to four, one to six, or one to eight range, are really kind of all the rage right now in, in the tactical shooting community. They offer a ton of capability. With the ability to use the optic on one power, I have an uh, optic I can use in CQB environments. It essentially works a lot like an aim point or an EOTech that you're familiar with. The added advantage of the variable power is when I need to, I can go in this case all the way up to six power. Going to six power isn't necessary for me to engage targets at carbine distances, say out to 300 meters. What it does give me the ability to do is to identify a partially obscured target or really drill down on a smaller target, for instance. If my target has left his foot out from behind a piece of cover, that might be a target that's hard for me to hit at 200 meters with a red dot. If I can dial this up to six power, however, all of a sudden that, that small exposed piece of meat becomes something I can put bullets in and I can win the gunfight. So there's a ton of advantage of the one to six optic and I think it's a really exciting development. This is a particularly good one. It's a great weight class, not overly heavy, super simple, easy to use reticle, just a piece of gear I'm really excited about. And I think the rest of the marketplace really needs to take notice and look out because SIG Optics is here and they're coming and they're really blowing people's doors off of the Tango 6. I'm Nate Stokes with Advantage Group. Thank you for joining me at the Gear Locker. To find out more about the Tango 6 and the other offerings from SIG Electro Optics, check out SIG Electro Optics online. You can come train with Advantage Group. You can find us at advantagegrouptraining.com. We look forward to seeing you out on the range. Thank you